Hi, in this video, I'm gonna show you a couple of tips and tricks to work here with the Divers of Tropical Forest Loss branch. So normally you will get the branch starts like this. You have to press here and press start validation and then you will get this location, random location assigned to you. Um, then you, you have this layer on top. This is the reported tree loss Hansen tree loss layer. This is aggregated to 100 meters. Originally is in a 30 meter, but to display it a bit easier here, we, so we aggregated this to 100 meters. So um, you can either you know show it or don't show it. Normally by default it's shown, and you can change the intensity of it. Sometimes it's good to remove it so you see the pattern clearly, but it's also good to have it at some degree so you see the intensity of it happening inside the, the blue box. Here you have these tools, right? Normally you start with the pointer, the normal view. You can also display the NDVI profile. So if you click in any part of this, you will see how the um, no, normalized um, vegetation index is shown here. Um, and you can see from different sources, from Landsat, um, from Modis and so on. Um, you can always close it. It will appear here below. You can always close this or toggle and switch between different different ones. You can also query the time series from Sentinel here. So if you click in the center, you will see images from Sentinel, um, from the satellite Sentinel at different years, in different seasons. So this is, for example, uh, winter of 2008 for this for the northern hemisphere of course so this is december this is march and this is august and this one is september so this these images are shown um with certain characteristics you can find that um here you see the max cloud coverage is 70 percent and then you have the images that are shown here with the exact dates also you can switch between natural color or infrared. So to see vegetation, for example, is here. Uh, the agriculture uh, combination of bands might be useful also for detecting agriculture. Um, and we also have this other two moisture index in the NDW, NDWI. Um, you go out of it by pressing escape. You can close it to here. And you have always these tools, right? You can jump to Google Earth and see whatever image you have there uh, in Google Earth with the time series and additional auxiliary information. This is super useful for this campaign. We use it all the time. Um, you can re reload again the quick start guide to see how to use these tools. Uh, if you click on view examples, you will see our gallery of examples here, but also the tutorial and introductory videos, you can always go back or campaign aim rules and prices. So for example, what will be the prices you get and so on. Um, also, you can you have some more information in our Facebook and, and Twitter pages. Additionally, you can send us an email when you when you find something strange or you don't agree with the qualification you've, you've got for a control point. So you will get control points as you advance on the campaign. And those are the ones we're going to use for your um, score for your quality score. You can also join the expert chat and this will launch a Discord um, chat. Um, so for example, if you have the app, you can open in the app. Um, or you can open also in the web browser. You don't need to install the app. In the, and you will see here, this is the drivers of um, forest loss campaign. You have two channels, the clips and highlights where you can share what you've seen there, the general information. And also you can chat with others, other participants with our, or with our, with our moderators and the people from GeoWiki. Okay, so you can um, also see your place in the leaderboard and see the rules also here. So the individual uh, performance on each one of the participants, uh, the campaign aims, the rules, important to, to look at, and the prices. And um, you can always go back to those anytime. 
Most importantly is that we are focused on this part, the step one. This is the crucial one. This is what will give you more points or will take away lots of the points if you choose it right or wrong, respectively. Then we look at step two. And for example, for step two, a, a tip or a trick is that whenever you find a trail, just mark it. And then automatically the step three might, it will be marked. Sometimes there are no trails. You can only see some other things, like for example, some kind of managed forest or forestry. And then you have to select whether you see trails in the blue box outside the red pixels. Um, the comment box is important for us because it will tell us what is happening around. If you know this area, if you're familiar with it, if you have lived there, have passed there, you know what is happening there. You can always leave a note there, or if you find some auxiliary information in Google Earth. So for example, you, you jump to Google Earth here and Google Earth might tell you, okay, there is um, the historical data shows uh, something happening in 2017 or 18 or so, right? In this case, for example, this is of systems agriculture. This is changing over time. You can see the pattern from 2017, even from earlier 2011. Uh, now, one thing is that in Google Earth, you have to zoom in to the right amount of zoom to see these things happening. For example, here, here, you can see the change. Um, what else? Other tip um, is that the Sentinel layer that you will get there, you can also try to use it for or looking at, at the image, or you can of course use the time series here. Okay, um, good luck with this. Enjoy the campaign and any questions, just write us on Discord, uh, join the chat and chat with us or chat amongst participants. And um, you're helping us a lot with this. So you really, really put lots of attention, especially on determining what is the main um, tree loss driver in these red pixels. Good luck and have fun.